And if you've ever been a server, you probably know there are plenty of stories to tell about waiting tables. Well, now we are getting a glimpse into the challenges of fine dining in the new book, The Last Supper Club, A Waiter's Requiem by Matthew Bat. And we are happy to have Matthew with us today. Thanks so much for joining us. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. So to give us the backstory here, it sounds like you reached a plateau in your career and you decided to go waiting tables. Yeah, it turns out that uh, when you take a sabbatical at a university teaching job, it comes with a 50% pay cut, which mm. yeah. if you're an English major, that, you know, presents some difficult math. You but, notice uh, that. Yeah, <laughs> after a little while, for sure. So you decided, to, I'm going to take up a second job. I'm going to start waiting tables. Ended up at a brewery here in Minneapolis. We can say Surly, mm -hmm. and the brewer's table at Surly, which is a very nice restaurant. Um, what was that like? It was amazing. Um, it was uh, a super unique place where they had a fusion of like um, Mexican and Scandinavian food, which uh, mm -hmm. it's not your typical combination, um, but it ended up being uh, just this uh, brilliant combination of uh, people, food, cuisine, um, and just one of the best experiences of my life. So for you, you go through this experience. What was it that inspired you to write a book about this? Well, I ended up getting the job uh, right before the restaurant opened, um, and I liked it so much that I stayed through the entire lifespan of the restaurant. Whoa. And that wasn't planned? Um, yeah. No, not at all. It was just supposed to be a stopgap to yeah. you know, make a little money to make up for what I lost on my sabbatical. Um, and when I realized, like, holy cow, I just saw the whole life of a restaurant, right. I thought, somebody ought to say something about it. Yeah. And I suspect you came out with many good stories. Some funny ones, <laughs> some disasters, some successes. Yeah, absolutely. Um, <laughs> it, was, it was full of just about everything. Um, but for the most part, it was, it was just all about um, the people that I worked with. Mm -hmm. um, that was the most exciting thing. What was one of the best stories? Um, oh, boy. I think I, I'd have to say uh, in like the span of like one night, I think we had... Um, a couple proposed to one another. Oh. Another couple uh, came for their, their last evening before they uh, had to check in the hospice. It was like heartbreaking, but also oh, wow. bittersweet and super moving. Um, and it was just super special that they chose us to, mm -hmm. to spend that night with. Yeah. Mm. Given your experience and everything that you've touched on, would you recommend a service job like this to other people? I think uh, waiting tables or something like it ought to be required of like everybody. Yeah. Um, I, I just feel like it helps you understand uh, from the inside out um, what it takes to take care of people, um, both in terms of like, you know, the simple stuff of just serving people and, and making them happy, but also being part of a team and being part of a uh, just kind of like a tight knit family that it totally depends on one another to mm -hmm. succeed. And now you're back teaching again. I am, yeah, mm -hmm. I am. <laughs> teaching English. So, uh, and the book has just come out. So first of all, congratulations mm -hmm. on that. Where can people find it? Uh, everywhere, but mm -hmm. uh, always recommend our fine local independent books, bookshops mm -hmm. like Majors and Quinn, Next Chapter Books, Birch Bark Books, Subtext, everywhere in town. What's sure. next? You're gonna write another book? We'll see, we'll see, but you know, right now it's like midterms at yeah. school and <laughs> gotta get done with grading. We're lucky we got him here. <laughs> well, Matthew, thank you so much yes. for joining us this morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my pleasure, thank you. Mm -hmm.